Hey everybody, in this video, um, I'm gonna show you another one of the questions that you might see on the uh, on the exam is, you're gonna have some kind of a, a weird looking shaped part like this, or not really a, a shape, it's a form, a, a form like this. And they're gonna want you to figure out the area of somewhere where another plane cuts through this this form. So what you're gonna do is, wh whichever plane they want you to, to use, you're just going to turn the visibility of that plane on. So let's say it's the X and Z plane. So I'm going to find it up, up here in the origin. If, if it's not open like this, which it probably won't be, you want to make sure so you, you go up to your origin folder, hit the plus sign. It opens up all your items here. You just kind of scroll over it till you see the plane that you want. So I want this X and Z plane. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to turn on the visibility of that thing. So bam. So now what I want to do is I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this plane here and then you're going to go up to it's probably not going to say project cut edges it's probably going to say project geometry but what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your project geometry you're going to select project cut edges you don't have to do anything after that it already projects the cut edges for you so then what i would do is i would go down to slice graphics icon here click that and it's going to remove the, the part that's above the uh, plane that we're looking at. So now you see the shape that we want to find the area of. So what I would do is go up to Inspect and then hit on Region Properties. Hit on Region Properties like, hey, now you do it. No, don't hit on it like that. You want to click on the Region Properties. You want to click on the area here inside the area. And then you're going to hit Calculate. And then that's going to tell you that it'll tell you the area of that um, shape here that we have. It'll tell you the perimeter if they ask you that. Either one. So then you're going to click done. I mean, you don't have to click done. Once you already know what the answer is, you can just cut and paste that. Just You don't want to cut and paste the inches squared. You can just cut and paste the 0 0.53. Right click, copy if you want to do that. And then go paste it in your answer thingy. Anyway, that's how you do it. All right, so hope that helps. Peace.